Hey everybody! So I'm currently back in Illinois right now. In fact, I decided to take some well-needed time off of school, and I won't be going back into academia till next August. But in the meantime, I'm putting up a laser shop just down the road, which means you'll be seeing a lot more cool stuff coming from me in the near future. If you've been following my videos, you'll know that I've been building a giant ruby laser recently. And in fact, the uh, power supply in this thing is completely finished. The only thing I'm waiting on are uh, a couple of flash lamps to come in the mail. Once I get those things, I can toss this laser together. But as you can see here, the heart of this power supply is this giant, giant capacitor bank here. It stores over 10 kilojoules of energy, and it is absolutely terrifying. So I think we should play around with this thing a bit. I feel like I should state the obvious here, and warn my viewers that you should never, ever play around with a, a capacitor bank this big unless you really know what you're doing. Because lethal is an understatement for something like this. Touching this thing would probably vaporize all your organs. There's, there's absolutely no coming back from that. So yes, this thing is incredibly dangerous. Honestly, it's the most dangerous thing I own. And I've messed with a lot of dangerous stuff over the years. So yeah, viewers be careful. I got to gear up for this video. Got my earplugs, face mask, glove, and uh, lab coat there, because there's going to be some molten metal flying here in a few minutes. You're probably wondering why glove was singular. Well, I like to keep one hand behind my back when I'm playing with high voltage, so this is all I need. So I'm charging this thing up to 100 volts, which is 10% of the uh, cap bank's rated voltage. But because the uh, energy stored inside the capacitor bank is related to the square of the voltage, that means that this is only sitting at 1% of its rated energy. So watch, let's see what 1% can do. So even at only 1%, this thing can still do some damage. But let's start cranking it up. So now this bank is sitting at 5% of its rated energy. So watch, let's test it on this beer can here. So as you can tell, it's quite a bit more energetic, but it still has a long way to go. 700 volts, which is 50%. So now I'm at about 75% of the rated energy, and this is where I think I'm going to stop. I don't want to take any risk with my uh, power supply here. Alright, so let's go. If you notice, these rails are getting blown apart from the uh, intense magnetic fields being produced. The current uh, on one rail is opposed from the magnetic field produced from the other rail, and it causes them to uh, push each other apart. A CD. Whoa! I can't see. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that one was very, very bright. I'm still a bit flash blinded from that. It absolutely annihilated that CD. Cool. A light bulb. Aluminum foil. <laughs> Nothing left. Check out all those really cool craters there in the metal. I would not want to touch that. Crazy. Well, that's enough fun for today, but please stay tuned for my upcoming Ruby and Explosive Lasers. Thanks for watching.